what is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. Oh, guess we're not going back to the witch just yet. Almost. If we could just find the other pieces of the language disc. Big statue of Thor. So, know any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew a long ago. His stories were brief. And purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? <laughs> there was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happened? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Dock here? Huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. Powerful, do you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, 
And we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No. But you may feed it to the fish. Okay. I bet this will lead out. Hey, this does more than decipher those Muspelheim runes. It also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire room? Turn back Aesir. Guess the gods aren't welcome here. <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head, anyway. Charlie. Be ready! Oh! 
think you got him. You did it! Read it. Sir. Death to the Raven God, Lord of the Hang. Here, boy. I know those runes. That's Vinder. When? Must be for that sand bowl down there. Atreus, follow me. Sorry, I got distracted. What does it say? Falcon, hawk, and turtle dove. Swim aloft in oceans above. Ah, wind. Wind. Read it. Yes, sir. Say their neat things upon all who trespass. Father, she is here. It is so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait, where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me, now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. 
If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Pamela! It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. <sighs> Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once, yes. But no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The world serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. So, Mimir, 
Why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, didn't you? Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Speak to the serpent. There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! To work it is! Say the word, kid. What next? For Junior? What else? Come back soon with more crap you found. I put my lips to the horn. you made in honor of Thor, and seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. You envy me. I've still got it, lads. 
he remembers me. Why are you? Oh no, that's not right. Eh, Makuno Huntunku. Pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one on the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment there. Now that... He thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. What's hiding behind there? No earthly key nor physical force can get past the magic of that lock. Don't even look at it. This is locked up good. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. did tell me why Frey spin your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. 
Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? 